Hello my friends, it is Crystal. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are going to be decorating all of the bowls for fall. But every single year, I decorate our dough bowl for fall and you all seem to really enjoy it. So I thought it would be fun to do a video where I share all kinds of different ways to style these bowls. I did one for, what did I do for spring, summer, and I'll probably do one for Christmas as well. So stay tuned for that one. That one will be so much fun. I love Christmas decor. I also love fall decor. So today I'm going to be decorating three different types of bowls for fall. And I think what I'm going to do is style them a few different ways just to give you all the ideas. The first bowl that I'm going to be styling with you is this large one that you've seen me decorate many times before. It is my largest and probably my favorite one. It's also can be a challenge to find things that will fill it, but this is from Decor Steals. I'm not sure if it's available, but I will make sure to link it down below if it is, or maybe something that is super, super similar. Great table centerpiece, coffee table, like tray. I also like to set ours on our sideboard, which is right behind me there. So we're gonna get started decorating this bowl first. For the first style that I'm going to be sharing with you today, I'm actually going to be recreating my last year dough bowl with a few changes though. And I'm going to start out with just adding a couple of faux floral stems. This greenery is from Target this year and I fell in love with it. One, because of the color, but two, because of the size of the leaves. They're big, which is great when you want to fill up this larger style of dough bowl. Next to this arrangement, I'm going to be adding a lantern that I picked up last year from Kirkland's. However, it's not a level surface that I'm setting it on, so I'm going to use these little wood slices throughout the video with various pieces just to give it something level to rest on. But they're just little slices of wood. You can find them in the craft section at Hobby Lobby. to trim down a lot of my florals if I can help it, but sometimes you just need those smaller pieces to fill in the gap. So I'm just adding a few final pieces to cover up a few areas. And now I'm going to add this pumpkin that I picked up from Kirkland's many years ago, one of my favorites, as well as a couple of other ones that I've also had for a while. These came from the Target dollar spot, but I just love the different colors and textures. It feels so cozy and warm. Pompous grass is also really fun to add. So these stems came from Hobby Lobby, very messy. I know I've been told that hairspray seems to help. I just haven't quite done that yet. Um, but just adding some in for some extra texture and filling in some of the openings that are left in the bowl. When I was shopping at Hobby Lobby, you all saw me pick up this black eucalyptus and my intent was to use it in this bowl. So just adding a few trimmed pieces here and there. I have a lot of black decor in our home, even in the artwork that is behind this bowl. So just to help tie it in with the rest of the home, I added this black. You'll have to let me know what you think. I'm not quite sure yet. For 
bowl number two, I'm going to be using these two floral picks that I picked up from Joann's this year. And I love them because they are a very good size. And I also love the color of the maple leaves. They are so, so pretty. But just fluff them up a little bit and putting one on each side of the bowl to get started. And now I'm just going to add these white pumpkins. I believe you can get these in a bag from Hobby Lobby. Just a variety of sizes. Perfect for adding to any of your arrangements. Another item I love to add to bowls to help fill in some of the gaps or holes are pine cones. So I had a couple of these on hand and then I also gathered a few of them from our neighbor's trees. So funny. She was probably wondering what I was doing, but just adding more texture. Once I had those all into the bowl, I decided I didn't care for the white berries and truthfully they get discolored it seems like as they get older. So just going to quickly remove all of the berries to complete this bowl. I was inspired for bowl number three from a pumpkin that was gifted to me from a subscriber last year, but you can find the sunflower pumpkin from Hobby Lobby. So we are going to be doing a sunflower bowl. This planter came from Target. I believe it's a couple of years old. I'm not sure if it is still available, but I will definitely try to link it below if I can. It's one of my favorites along with these greenery stems that you can find in stores right now they're perfect and I just love them. I was looking to add more of this green color into my fall decor. So to those, I'm going to add these yellow sunflowers that I picked up from a local store. I just love the size of them. They're not too large where they overtake my arrangement, but just the perfect pop of yellow. And then for some extra texture, I'm going to add these little <laughs> stems. I don't know what I even want to call them, but I picked these up at Hobby Lobby. Let me know if your Hobby Lobby has the sunflower pumpkins this year. I haven't seen it in ours, but now I'm just testing out a few different ways to fill in some of the gaps. I'm trying some of these white pumpkins that I had used in my other bowl, but once I get it all in there, I decide that it's not really what I was going for. So I take them all out and decide to pull from the pumpkin the pops of the brown from the sunflower and just add in a few final pine cones. For 
this next arrangement, I was inspired by a Thanksgiving centerpiece that I had seen online. And for this one, I picked up these mums. These are the smallest ones you can find in the stores. And I'm going to add them into these little planters that I had picked out from Aldi back in the spring. They're just about the perfect size for that. And I'm just going to line them up on this piece of scrap wood. to fill in the rest of the bowl cover up that scrap wood I'm going to be filling it up with these gourds and pumpkins all the fun little ones you could find at Walmart right now all for the larger dough bowl now I wanted to share just a couple of ideas with some of these smaller bowls that I also have and I first purchased this this summer from Amazon the white is still sold out however there is a walnut color that is available that I will make sure to link down below I think it would look beautiful with fall decor but anyways we're gonna decorate this white one this one is more of a smaller size maybe a little bit easier to decorate I have a couple of ideas in mind for this one, so let's get started. For this bowl, I'm going to be super simple, and I actually had a lot of this lamb's ear on hand. I went crazy for it many years ago, but it's from Hobby Lobby. It's just trimmed down into a little bit smaller pieces, and then I'm going to add in a bunch of these white pumpkins. Super easy and simple, but also beautiful when it is all put together. Now it's time to style it another way using my most favorite pumpkins from Kirkland's. These you can buy in a like a mesh bag so all the colors come and they have that Sherpa feel to them. They're super, super soft and cozy and I just love the colors of them together. So just going to prop them up in the bowl and it looks cute just like that. Does it not? I don't know. 
Maybe I'm partial because I just love these pumpkins. But if you want to take it up just a notch, I went ahead and added these little picks from Hobby Lobby. And I like them because they have just a small pop of that greenery, but also that cozy factor as well. see a reflection in the mirror of uh, a sneak peek of what my kitchen table looks like right now it's very messy <laughs> but domos take a lot of things if you know what i mean so anyways that's all i wanted to share for the white bowl today the last one i wanted to share with you was the kind of like circular bowl or tray that i picked up from hobby lobby this year in the fall section i've been using it as a fruit bowl but it would totally work for decor as well so i thought i would share with you one way to style this so you could totally take the last two styles with the lamb's ear as well as the cozy pumpkins and recreate that in this circular bowl it would look super cute but i thought i would mix things up a little bit and do a little candle arrangement so this candle came from hobby lobby and it wasn't quite fitted right so i decided to prop it up with one of those little pieces of wood that i like to use now this mini pitcher i've had for a few years came from the target dollar spot it's one of my favorites and I'm just going to add this greenery or wheat that I picked up from Shields of all places I shared it in my fall decor haul which I can link above if you haven't watched that but just going to put together a quick little arrangement and then I'm sure you've guessed it by now I'm going to fill in the bowl with my favorite cozy pumpkins Okay, my friends, that is going to be it for today's bowl decorating. Thumbs up as always if you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below which one was your favorite. I am still not sure. I thought I knew which one I wanted for my house, but now I kind of love them all. But anyways, lots of more fall decorating to come. Coming up next week, we'll be doing the front porch as well as some, I think in the kitchen is where we'll go next and then the living room. So all kinds of fall decorating to come. Make sure you're subscribed, but thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.